Yeah, Smash Bros wasn't there because yeah, be I think fair, Moi versus replacement. I watched. I watched the multi bro, that's, versus. That's um... Sorry, sorry, not Koti. No, go I was oh, just gonna say I watched the multi. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. <laughs> that was a me- mess up, mess up. <laughs> but where is this skew? Where is this skew? Going through the watch of the game and was a bit of a to get back into you know, this kind of headspace again to know that we're going to have mm. a talk about it. First of all, mm. that thing was long. Oh, yeah. Uh, <sighs> including so the pre-show, that, three and that, a half that, hours. Yeah. You man watched it in one sitting. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did. Yeah. Uh, it was more I couldn't. I, couldn't. I tried and I had to break it in. I had to break it into bits. No, do you know what made it long, yeah? Do you know what also made it long? Was the beginning bit, the speech. That's what made it long. Which oh! One? Uh, okay. Christopher Judge's speech. Yeah, yeah. I actually missed the beginning, actually. Wow. Really it, uh, bro. That, that his, speech, was, his speech was lock. His speech was lock. It was the first speech. However, it's probably the speech that everyone remembers the most because of how long it was. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I only remember the last bit. Which is? Was that? Oh, bit, wait, don't be a douchebag. Bit, yeah, who's like, he's like, Sonny, you've been amazing. Don't be a douchebag. That's yeah. literally what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a douchebag. <laughs> My guy was like, yeah, don't be a DJ. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. No, no, um, before we before we get into the, the nominees and the winners, what, what um overall, what were we happy with the game awards? Did we think it was all I thought it was alright overall? I just thought it dragged. I was shocked at how many a certain game got. And then I was a bit shocked. Actually, no, when you explained it to me, I was kind of like, okay, it makes a bit of sense. However, mm. um, the the kind of like game of the year i was expecting it to be the one that won the most but apparently not so i mean yeah, obviously we'll talk about right. game of the year at the end but like yeah. i can't lie all i'm gonna say is with the with the hype around it i knew it was gonna win for me i don't care for it but it is what it is isn't it the fact that I like I accept people talking about it that don't even play games like that i thought yeah it, it deserved to win but not the last year Mm. That's so fair. From, what, from what I've heard of it, it, it I mean, like you said, we're gonna get it. But from what I've heard of it, it's 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 it's, it's apparently it's deserving. It's deserving. Yeah, mm. big fan. Um, I'm not saying like, it's not. Yeah, for me, I don't I don't play them type of games, in it. So that's why for me, it's, it's, it is where it is kind of. What they put them again? So so soul game. Yeah, man. Like uh, me and soul games just don't get along. It's don't get me wrong. Me. Yeah, it's not for me. It's, it's it's not. Yeah, it's not undeserved. It's just that I think because it had been well, I feel like yeah we're gonna discuss it but yeah, yeah. It, it was it was unexpected yeah, yeah, yeah. in a way unexpected mm. and expected that's what it was wait mm. we spoke about this last year innit? we spoke about the game it was last year didn't we yes mm. and we because we have to we and it won most we, anticipated yeah, we game won, yeah exactly yeah. because it won and I think see I think you might have said that you know what this might get something like this year so I'm actually gonna go back and check because we spoke about this as well but I didn't think it was going to be game of the year. I thought it was just going to be hyped. Um, and again, mm. similar to what you guys said, I thought obviously God of War because of how many nominations and the hype around that as well. I thought, mm, but you know, but what, I'm going to go through. God, 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 God of War did their thing anyway. But yeah, yes. all right, cool. Let's go through the the categories. So obviously, um, we'll start with the best adaptation. So the nominees was Arcane. Uh, Cyberpunk, Cuphead Show, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Uncharted, and the winner was Arcane. I was happy with that. No surprise there, because I can't lie, that show was amazing. I don't even care about League of Legends. Exactly. exactly. But that exactly. show was amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, like, I keep hearing of that. I haven't watched it, but I keep hearing like, a lot of stuff about that. Yeah, it, it got some interest in the game, because I know there's, they've got um, um, a mobile version as well that people are raving about as well. Um, mm. And I was like, okay, okay. I, w- I watched the show and I thought I might, you know, I might download this and see how this is, you know, what this is like. <laughs> but when I saw the adaptations and I saw the rest of them, I thought, mm, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't watched know Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk is not bad, you know. I just knew it wasn't going to win. Cyberpunk is all right. Not for me. It, it, yeah, it I think it wasn't for me. I think <laughs> because, enough. like, I think because it had such a weird beginning and a really stressful beginning in terms of when it released, it made it very difficult 
for it to be in that contention. Mm. It, it did bring itself back, like it did do a Phoenix thing. However, it wasn't strong enough to be at the game of the year. That's mm. what I'm saying. It definitely mm. wasn't. No, but I'm saying that the uh, the the. I mean, essentially, the, the movie, the series, was it a series? I can't remember now. Because there's one on Netflix well, okay. as well. Oh, Edge Runner. Edge Runner. Edge Runner. Oh, yeah, no, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was, Cyberpunk was a series still. Yeah, I, I wasn't feeling the series like that. For Edge it to, Runner. Yeah. So it's like, that's why I'm like, mm, the adaptation, the game was good, but the series wasn't. <laughs> was it connected to the, the story banging. of the game? Or was it separate? It was um, like a, it, like it, a, no, it was, it was a mix. It's a bit connected, but the principles were the Basically, same. Basically, you can like, watch the show without actually playing the game. But obviously, people that have played the game, they will notice sure. certain like characters, weapons, okay. all of that. You okay. will just recognize faster, but you can easily watch the show without actually yeah. um I think playing yeah. the game. But this is where it's smart from them, yeah, because this the game obviously came back everyone jumped back on it because it was fixed and everything like they fixed their bugs and stuff but then mm-hmm. also to make a show and then to add stuff in from the show into the game that made people play it again there was a big resurgence of people playing cyberpunk there still is to this day just mm-hmm. from that which is wild not many places can do that or not many things can do that may i give cd project red their props because i thought that game was tanked yeah. i thought that game was tanked i thought like after they the had launch it work. had I they thought it was flatlined, but yeah, they, they resurrected themselves, man. Because obviously, I even jumped on the game. I didn't even care about Cyberpunk, but mm-hmm. then look at me in January. Bro, I'm like, bro, I powered through the yeah. game. I put over 100 hours into it. Oh, yeah, I saw. Um, I, I've seen your, your PlayStation thing. <laughs> <laughs> did, you guys think, did you guys think Uncharted or Sonic had a chance? No. I felt, okay, really? Sonic, Sonic 2, I haven't even watched. Uncharted is just a casual watch. I can't lie. Nah, Uncharted for me was watch if you ain't got nothing else to do. If you if you're looking for something that you can't think of it, yeah, just watch Uncharted. It's, it's, it's a calm watch. Uncharted was like I'd say un- Sonic was about the same as well. Mm. So yeah, what? The first Sonic movie is like, better than the second? N- uh, no, I think the second one's better. But I think the second Sonic movie is better than the Uncharted movie. But okay, it, it's still like them. a it's still a casual watch. It's not gonna do anything special. Nah, none of them good. warrant like a none well, of them warrant uh, a win. No, yeah. none of them win. It wasn't gonna win. Yeah. I mm. think Unch- Uncharted only got the hype it got because of my man in it, Tom Holland. Uh, yeah. I don't think I think if it was somebody else no, for what <laughs> Tom Holland, yeah. So Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. So basically them two because them two were in it basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was if it was it, if the actors weren't I actually think Tom Holland because of the whole Spider-Man hype around the time as well because we had only seen him in Spider-Man. Just, yeah. Like, Ooh, another film with he Tom Holland. Basically, so let's go he was basically out. being Spider-Man in Uncharted just about the suit. <laughs> basically. Hey, he, my he's God, God fam. He's he's he wrong. went, he went he's, through it. I said, yeah, this is definitely Uncharted saying, vibes. He was, he was doing his Spider-Man stuff in Uncharted just <laughs> by, by as him. Yeah, but then we've all played Uncharted before. Look at the stunts that Nathan Drake goes through, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just because it's Tom Holland and the whole Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and to be fair, he does his own stunts as well, isn't it? So, yeah, but so also, do you think, yeah, do you think that because this film was like not teased, but it was talked about so many times, as anticipated so many times, and just people be like, it needs to come out. But also because of like the action in terms of like people wanted like something mind like mad mind blowing because it's uncharted. Like, there's so much stuff within uncharted that no human could survive, but yeah, you wanted yeah. to see it. But also, I think, yeah, back to the question is like, do you think if there was more action similar to the game or if there, um, if it wasn't like so far away in anticipation and it didn't take this long, do you think it would have done better? No. Oh. No, I don't think so. I'm like, okay. I think, I think this you know what? I, 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 wanna... I, so sorry, sorry, Shadow, you talk. I'll talk after. No, I'm just saying, I think the, 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 the storyline, I think the hype of the game is the madness. Like, I think that's what makes the game so fun. But it's something that we want to play, but not necessarily want to watch, if that makes sense. It's like, it's something that I want to experience as a, as a gamer, rather than mm. sit down and watch somebody else do it. If that makes sense. I think yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a Hollywood thing. Like, even if it came out quicker, if it was the same thing, it still would have just yeah, been like yeah. oh, a little fun time. And but, the fact that it, it remixed the story as well, obviously like mm. it's taking elements from different ones and kind of just smashed it. But from Shara's perspective, yeah, I feel like I don't think it's necessarily 
um you don't want to watch it's as you as like a uh, as you said as a gamer like you don't really most things you don't want to see be turned into a film i think it's also because like hollywood is not great at doing that like Hollywood in general is not good at doing games or anime to film. It doesn't work. But they keep constantly doing it once something picks up like thing. It's only until like what the other day, God of War is now getting a prime video thing. No one asked you. <laughs> Nobody asked. I was even gonna I was even gonna say, like in general, um, when you have film adaptations of games, to me, they're usually shit. You you see you see the numbers that they that, that they bring in is not that great. Yeah. Um, back in the day we've had one or two like Resident Evil when it first came out. The first two was cool, then it went downhill from three. Um the f- what Tomb Raider, the first one when we were younger, that was calm, and then they did the second one, eh. And yeah, then they did the like, reboot. Eh. Even a lot of those like old video game I- movies that we thought were good. I think they just put up with their time, you know. I think you went back to them yeah, now, you yeah, be yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't lie, I'm looking forward to the Mario Brothers movie. I can't lie to you. You <laughs> know what? Let me like, not lie. Let I'm me not lie. That. that trailer actually looks good. It looks like it looks like it's gonna be a fun watch. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's what I was about to say. Like with Mario, is just a fun time anyway, and the movie looks exactly. like a fun time. But I think because it's it's animated as well, I think yeah, it, it makes it better. So mm-hmm. if I got if I got like a, 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 a animated adaptation of a game, I feel like I would enjoy that more. Mm. Yeah, I think rather than rather than um, what is it? Real life. Not just that as well, yeah. So go on, do no, no, I was gonna say it also it's kind of hard to adapt the video game into a single a single movie when like the games have all these different ones and have oh, 20, 20, 30 yeah. hours. Yeah. Of, Playing a story and then you gotta fit that in one hour, two hours. Yep. Uncharted, but they mixed in bear games into one. <laughs> and, 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 and they have to play it out. And yeah. they have to play it out to the point where they have to set up a sequel, set up a backstory, set up a plot, set up a, something that moves the plot. Like in just mm-hmm. that amount of time, it's not gonna work. But also it's kinda like it's kinda like that we won't <laughs> fans won't let them even get to the point where they could be like oh we might make a number two it's because it's like it might not go well because they either have two options you plan for a number two and be like you know what we're gonna do well and it's gonna go for go far and we do a number two then people watch it and if it doesn't do well people get left on a cliffhanger a mm-hmm. good example tomb raider but then after you could try and compile everything into one and then try and sell out like, oh yeah, this is the whole thing. This is the whole thing into one, and it will be yeah, terrible. You know, it's going to be terrible. See what I'm saying? That's, that's, so why, I like, think, that's why I think um, Sonic did it well in that sense because the first Sonic movie was literally just about Sonic and yeah. Eggman, and just that whole introduction of just Sonic versus Eggman, obviously going off of what the first Sonic the Hedgehog game, and then obviously having the teaser of Tails at the end, and then now the second one was obviously bringing in Tails and Knuckles and. What that kind of stuff, and then even if you haven't seen it, it's another teaser for another character at the end to go into the third movie. Like, it's, I think they're doing it well, to be honest. Yeah, that makes I feel like sense. the I feel like the the ugly Sonic did help though. Like, that's what also because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it hyped it hyped everything oh, up, yeah. innit? So like people have seen ugly Sonic. Well. Yeah, it's that they listened. What that's what made it even better. Nah, yeah, it's good that they listened because my goodness, that Sonic that they created, <laughs> that Sonic came from the grave. I to the point where he that. appeared in Chip and Dale. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah, I watched that. Good. That was actually mad. <laughs> I think I think the last thing I'd say on this point on the, the movie thing is I actually realise sometimes if they just made the movies as the movies and called them different names and didn't connect them to the game, I think we'd enjoy them a lot more. If that makes sense. If you just said this is a movie called Blah Blah Blah, yeah, yeah. and just it would like Assassin's Creed was not a bad movie as a movie, it was just a bad version of it was a bad movie for Assassin's Creed. Does that make sense? But it was a bad movie. There's no expectation. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even I watch that movie, man. Storyline. 
but I, I had a friend who watched it and if they loved it that's because you've never played a game so you have no idea ah uh, yeah but that's the thing because we know mm. the main source material we played it so expectation is always going to and be there at some point it's like but you know when you have a book and it turns into a movie everyone prefers the book yeah, yeah. because yeah, a movie that's... the movies are always going to do their own little thing they might throw in a few fillers or certain bits that was supposed to happen in the middle might happen at the beginning so yeah that is that's probably Hollywood the best does. way that is probably the best have. way the, 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 um, they have to, to engage the, the the general public they can't just be like oh it's just for the gamers I'm not so gonna lie, that, that is way. what Cecil, what C said was like the best way to explain it. The, the it's literally for gamers and for book readers. The book is always better. The game is always better. They can't replicate it, but they always try to replicate it. Like if and the worst bit is because sometimes they don't get the full help or want mm. the like the actual author, people that write the script or do the game to actually be involved. Like mm. a good example is a show is Avatar, Avatar Last Airbender. So like now the film was trash, but they're actually getting the writers to be a part of it. They're following the cast that every everyone wanted it to be. Like you can't, you need to at least follow it in some way and you need to get the right people to do it rather than just like guessing or being like oh it, in a good way yeah, what you good, want to do. yeah an example is game of thrones a good example is game of thrones that's literally it game of thrones <laughs> people will probably say harry potter other people will say twilight like all of those everyone's going to tell you the book as well hmm Right, yeah, they let's to, move they on. Have to think for the general, so. Yes, please. Let's go. Let's move on. So the next one I got up, um, most anticipated game, and that was between Final Fantasy 16, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, Starfield, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the winner for that category hey. was The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Of course. Of course. I actually, that, I actually thought that was coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it got delayed so many times. Bro, yeah. I thought it was going to be Final Fantasy. But yeah. I low key thought it was going to be Final Fantasy, but it, it makes sense that Zelda won. I can't lie. Yeah. Yeah. It Wait, makes what, perfect what, sense. What was the other? So it was Final Fantasy, Zelda, and what was the other? Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, and no, Starfield. Resident, I'm sorry, Resident Evil can't be on that list because that game has been re- like come out so many times. You can't yeah, see yeah. it. I'm like, you know what, <laughs> was it like two years ago or a year ago? It's not. It's like it's like saying the last. Do you know what? Do you know what game that I was surprised was not on it? Spider Man 2. I think th- there was no date at the time though, wasn't it? That probably worse. Or no, yeah, like yeah, yeah. window. That's fair enough. Even right. Hogwarts, Hogwarts got pushed back to, to April now. Yeah, but April. To Wait, April, hold on, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Is this the same Hogwarts that we did the thing about? Yeah, yeah it was supposed to come out in February. That's wild. I got it's got to be it's been pushed back to April. Listen, I say as long as the game comes out optimized and it's fun yeah. and yeah, it works, then I don't mind. Take all the time you need, man. I'd rather have a nice finished I polished missed, game. I but I it. good. That's on the list for April then. But, but <laughs> will they do a cyberpunk? Because you remember how many times that game got pushed back? Look how many times that game got pushed back. Yeah. And look what got released. It's because they tried they tried to the game the game was too much for PS4 and Xbox One. They should have just done it on new gen. I swear, yeah, I swear that's even that's I swear even Marvel Avengers got pushed back how many times? And then when it came out, it was Marvel Avengers didn't get pushed back. That game didn't get pushed back. That, no. And even, even that game then, come out like a month after its beta, man. Nah, then, nah, they they Marvel messed up Avengers. their shit. It's not a bad game because of the technical side. It's a bad game because it's just a bad game. I I see. Talk about your top five. Go on. I I, I will not. I will not. We will move swiftly on to the next. I will do it. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Um. On a big man thing. Do we care about best esport team? No, not really. No, not really. We go from that. Tell me. Tell Uh, me the time you. Tell me the time you watch an esport game. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all the esports ones because we 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 don't really care Fair for enough. that. I watched an esports game the other day. Um, Dragon You're Dragon. lying. Z-Fire. On to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it popped up on my YouTube. So I watched it. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm gonna skip content creator of the year as well. 
Um, we'll go Ludwig. To... You really know that. Yeah. Best multiplayer game. So there was Modern Warfare Two, Multi versus no. no Overwatch Two. I don't know how Overwatch. Made oh, that definitely list. no. I don't know how they made that list. Splatoon Three and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge. I'm gonna go with Spl- was it Splatoon Three. I, 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 I thought, what is that doing there? Was it Splatoon? Yes, yeah, yeah, Splatoon. Splatoon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not even gonna lie. All of those I games it was here. It's just because I played it. That's why I was just talked about it. But I feel mm. like all those games, like they do have a community, but I don't know what it is. The Splatoon community is a bit mad. Is a bit mad. <laughs> it's a bit mad. There's like a. Yeah, I'm only like, play Splatoon two. Splatoon two is it's like, fun. There's a big gap between the casual players and the the high level players on Splatoon. Like there's a big gap compared to other. Yeah, players. I know. I know. I know. I know. Going, I jumped on as through... a beginner and I said, you know what? I don't even want to play online. This is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is, but going this is through... not fun. Modern Warfare only just come out and that game's iffy. What was the other one? There was Overwatch 2. Multiverses. <laughs> Multiverses. Multiverses. I'm not going to lie. Multiverses died down and people Multiverses. said it was going to die down. Multiverses. It died Multiverses. down. Multiverses. People's people, the community is still there though, in general. It's there, but it died down. Like in popularity, it died down. Like people said it was going to be like the next one. I'm not going to lie. I hate you, but no. <laughs> Overwatch it's 2. Never going, there's never going to be a next one as long as Smash exists. There's never going Bro, to be a next one. As long as you're you going just to have, Smash. you could just have clones, or they'll just yeah. take the formula of Smash and try to do their own thing. So that's what Multiverses yeah, like, did. They tried to Bro, do their own thing. It's not like every have, have, have your own identity, but there will never be a next one. So. Bro, it's not like a mm. battle royale. It's not like a PvP. It's literally just. Yeah, it's, it's just literally another Smash. A Smash clone is barely going to survive. It's very difficult to be a Smash clone and survive when Smash still exists and the game doesn't even need to bring in new one. characters. <laughs> Look at the Nickelodeon one. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, Nick. No, wait, wait, no, 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 no. no. You got no. plays like SpongeBob and CatDog. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to do one better. Can't What's that? There was a Cartoon Network one. I don't, I don't know about There it. was a Cartoon Network one, and I was like, Stop Where? It. Search it. Where? Search it. I did, I did, I did. I don't know about that one. Because like, it literally had, it literally had most of the people that are in that multiverses game in the Cartoon Network one. Oh man. I know there was a PlayStation All Star one. Yeah, no, oh, oh that game. Don't, oh. It had potential. <laughs> But it was just so bad. Like some of the things made no sense. I did. You know I, can't I lie, played I it. Play I played it. it once, and I was like, "This is a bit." Mm. You know something that's mad? Smash, as a Nintendo game, has more PlayStation All Stars than PlayStation All Stars. Man, mm, wow, wow, wow! That is that's actually mad. <laughs> but yeah, no, let me move on. Let me move on to the next the next category. Um, do we care about the stra- any, the strategy games? Do we play strategy games here? I don't. No. I, not to that extent. No. Ah, right, cool. Let's let's skip that. Best sports slash racing game. You had F one twenty two, Formula One, FIFA twenty three, NBA two K twenty three, Gran Turismo seven, and Oli Oli World. Gran Turismo. And the winner yeah. is Gran Turismo. Yeah. Bro, I think that was game. that. Yeah. This is always a weird category. I'm not going to lie. This, that category is always weird. Sports and racing. My fan, it gets beat. Yeah, but bro. racing games will always win. Who won again last year? The, um, was that, it Forza? Nah, that crazy... Um, uh, the driving game with the trucks and the... Oh, I'll have to check. Oh, also, I'd like to apologize. I think I was the the Cartoon Network game is just like a normal. It's like it's like Scott Pilgrim. I thought it was like thingy. Oh, it's like Scott okay, Pilgrim. okay, cool. So no more. But um, yeah, yeah, yes. you know, racing race games always win that category. I mean, even Mario Kart Eight won that when it came out as well. I feel racing like games are fun, fair, man. Like, it's because it's it's not every day. When it when it when it comes to the when it comes to the sports games, it's just the same. It's just a different number every time. It's updating monsters. I'd like to. I'd like to say. Yeah, it's not ev- an update monsters. It's not everyday gambling. That's it. Sorry. That's, that's literally that it. That's literally um, it. Forza Horizon Five last year. 
Like, yeah, Forza One. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, think, yeah. yeah. think about yeah. Think about enjoyability. Like all these is other that even games. A, is that even a word? In, I'm going to say it is. Think <laughs> about. Think about. Okay, yeah. so think about enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> think about enjoyment, playability, and also money. Like mm. when it comes to so think about everyone enjoys FIFA. However, when it comes to money, you're spending. You're it's pay to win. It's literally pay to win. The game is paid yeah, to win. Yeah. But, yeah, but doesn't that also, depend on what mode you're playing? Like if you're doing like ultimate no, team and that. Yeah, but in, if you think about like where most of their thing comes from, most of their thing comes from ultimate team or it comes from, what's the other thing called? Um, pro, uh, pro career mm. or whatever it's called. Pro, pro clubs, mm. that's it. Pro and clubs. then even with NBA, it's literally the same thing. It's pay to win or you grind. Exactly. Whereas, racing, yeah. whereas racing games, it's more enjoyable because like you're driving, you're not, it's not anything mad. Like, yeah, you get one or two people here that cause problems. But I feel like, yeah, you're more likely to... Because think, think about it. With FIFA, you you will win. You could even play to grind and get coins. Then you pay and buy mm. a pack. And you could get the same players five times in a row. Yeah. Bare duplicates. <laughs> Fam, bare duplicates. But when it comes to racing games, you're creating your car and how you want to. You race the car, you get the car you've always wanted and you race it in the way you want to. Even like, think about it, like with Forza, with Mario Kart, with the with how um, great it is to play. Um, with Need for, I mean, Need for Speed is only coming back, but Gran Turismo, people like that racing sim. They don't, that. they don't really monetize you. Yeah. And then there's there's a massive there's the skill gap issue as well. Oh. I think we lost Jake. <laughs> oh. oh. I think we lost like, Jake. Jake is within the game when he racing games compared to the oh sports game. Oh my god, he was speaking. <laughs> oh, back. oh no, he's back. Oh, he's back. Okay, you were playing musical statues, I fam. Working. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what happened. No, I was just saying nah. that when it comes to racing games, they don't really monetize the in-game content compared to how like all the other the sports oh, games, possible, like yeah. FIFA and UK and stuff. I will say, yeah, even I'm playing um, Need for Speed Unbound now, yeah, and there is a problem where the online and the story are very separate and they're not joint so you can't carry your progress from story onto online which is wild my brother However, my brother my brother was saying that and he's, he doesn't he doesn't like that no it is it's wild. not like that it's definitely wild i think like it is it's, 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 it's you spend a lot of time so it's very difficult to do that um but i have been enjoying it because why i'm drifting i'm buying the car i'm designing the car um, how i want to put in the decals all this and the other Whereas like FIFA, I only play career mode. With NBA, I only play career mode. I'm mm -hmm. not going any further than that. You're not That's really utilizing the rest of the modes. Your enjoyment, there. Your enjoyment no. really lies on how lucky you are as well. Yeah. With the, when you spend your money. Mm. Bro. Yeah. It's like it's like with Battle Royale games. When you want to get a skin or something and they do loot boxes, you either mm. buy it to pay and see if you get the thing you want or you don't. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the skill gap is is a real thing as well, man. Like racing, oh, racing. Oh man, no, no. You... racing compared to, to compared to basketball or football. Not that racing is easy, but it's a lot easier to kind of get better at a racing game. Whereas when you talk about football and basketball, that's a whole nother like you got. <laughs> yeah, you got to understand the game. That makes sense. So if you want to jump onto FIFA yeah. now, uh, I mean, nah, I'll just say leave it, mate. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> at this point. And then if you talk about the communities in, in the sports game versus the racing game, they're very different. Mm. The way you race is probably, they, they race completely different, but they'll be exactly. drifting at times. You'll be thinking, why will you be drifting? Next thing you know, they're first. <laughs> there are, there are and some people that your PB on their first lap. <laughs> there, there are people that are just on there for violence, though. Some people will just rush into you for no reason. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Some people are hooked to burn out, my friend. Every, every take, community's got them. They take GTA races into into like proper driving sims. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I would say burn out one, two, three, four, and paradise. <laughs> but yeah, all right, let's move on. Best mm. family game. Uh, the, the 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 games. The nominees were Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Siren Blood, Lego Tools. Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga, Mario and the Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Nintendo Switch Sports and Splatoon 3 and the winner was Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I've not played Oh, okay. Um, my but brother's family, played it for, and, for he fought, and he fought yeah, and he... Kirby is a free plus. That's a family game, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. That's definitely a family game. 
no, no, I'm not, no, 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 I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying like it's, it's wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying for Family Game. I thought, like, I don't know, like when you say Family Game, are they talking oh, about just the rating? Game, just yeah, game, yeah. That's what, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, because it's multiplayer counts, as well, isn't it? Yeah, like it still counts. Yeah, that's what I I'm saying. It's like yeah, that category. What do you, what do you count for Family Game? Because that, you know, for instance, like Super Mario 3D World. To me, that would be a Family Game. Because yeah, you can play up to four games. people. Yeah. That, yeah, that's what Sack I'm Boy, saying. Sackboy, family game. It's a family game. Lego, all Lego games is family game, so. Yeah, but I swear, is Kirby, is Kirby one player or two player? It's multiplayer. It's multiplayer. Okay. I think it's more than four. I think, yeah. I think it's up to four. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. I still need to spit. My, my brother's been playing it. He loves Kirby and he enjoyed it, so. Yeah. Mm. All right. Best fighting game. I personally thought this was a very, very odd this was hilarious set of me. games. DNF Duel, cool. I like that game, but I just knew it wasn't going to win. I even think the community's dying out. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle Royale. I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The King Why of Fighters Fifteen, Multiverses, and Sifu. The winner was Multiverses. Obviously, when Multiverses so when first hit the scene, it was a bit... a minute ago, I was just keeping quiet because <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> to me, but Multiverses, did... the 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 community when it when the game first launched was big, so I'm su- I'm not surprised that it won. I just wanted to know why the hell was C3 on it? No, because C3 yeah, is a what? fighting game. It's a fighting no, no, game. No, 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 no. That's yeah, an adventure. That's an adventure. That's an that's no, that's not a fighting no, 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 game. No, it is. It's Mortal it's a game. Kombat no, 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 is a fighting no, game. No, but they Street Fighter is a fighting game. I hate you. Marvel versus Capcom is a fighting. This is not a fighting game. No, I see what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say Absolver is a is a is a full blown fighting game as well? To me, it's an adventure slash fighting game. No, it, I don't think Seafood should. Absor- I don't no, think no, Seafood no, 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 should no, no, be no, no, in this. No, no, I'm gonna tell you why Absolver is a fighting game because you're not doing anything else. You can't uh, you can't go on adventure. You're literally on there for crud. You just go find people and fight. That's literally it. Absolver is a fighting game. I will stand that, and you know it is. There's no literally there's no other mode except for go find someone and fight them. That's it. <laughs> but I think it's, it's like, like I'm not saying. Fighting. I'm not, I'm not defending it to the point where it's like, oh, it, 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 should, it should be in the category. But it's the same for seafood because literally there's no other exploration. All you're doing is fighting. There's nothing else. It's not like, oh, you go talk to someone. It's just that you are just on crud. Yeah. That's it. You know, I, you know what it is for I me? Guess, yeah, I For me, a fighting is. game is where you can play someone either local, um, locally or online. Seafood is a one player game through and through. Mm. Okay, fair enough. So that's why I see it as an well, adventure game because you're going from I one place to another. You got to go to one end to another while battling all these people. But then that's that's what I'm saying. So like, if you count that as like a a, a fighting game, it's the same thing for the fa- like the family thing. Most people consider it the family thing as the age rating in terms of like, is it fun mm. for like all of us? Are you saying is it one where it's like it's played around? Like, is it? did a whole family enjoy? It's like what is what do you ter- determine as that? Yeah, yeah, so like, it's those categories. It's like. It could be any other way. So, like for fighting games, some people count seafood as a fighting game, but I do understand what you're saying. It's like it's a, uh, it's also like an adventure one. But like more times, that game is just crud. Like there is dialogue, but it's when you're facing. Like, I feel like when you're you're walking towards. People. It just sounds like they had no other contenders and they just needed something. Yeah, yeah that's the vibe I got. That's, that's the. Vibe. I'm I'm not shitting on the game, but I haven't played the game. But from what I seen, I feel like it looks good. It's definitely a game I would play. I just that's don't. Not- I just what wouldn't put it in fighting game category. What wait, fighting when did wait when did when did Blast Blue and Guilty Gear come out? Oh, that that, that was time ago, bro. Oh, oh, I I say, what other that was years, years back. back. They, they, they had those. They had no other fifth spot to, to, to fill, so they just put CP. Oh, yeah, because what? Like, even, say, when you even deep it, Demon Slayer came out last year, so they could. Yeah, them. But then even then, that that doesn't even warrant a nomination. Let's be real. <laughs> But did it? Nah. I was thinking, wait, that's where Jump Force was on there one time, and it's the same type of game. But at least with Jump Force, Jump Force, you can fight people online. You can fight someone locally, kind of too. No, but it's the same similar game as Demon Slayer. It's still that type of game. Mm. Like. But yeah, I guess you're but, yeah. but, but in terms of fighting know. games, what's really come up? Obviously, next year. Both Street Fighter Six and Tekken Eight are coming out, so that will definitely be in the category. I don't know what else will come yeah, out. Oh, okay. So 
this is this is what what came out this year in terms of like and this is a madness because i typed in yeah fighting games released in 2022 and the the, the names that came like were on the list were on there but then also was sifu mm. number one was um uh rumbleverse which had a community on it oh i forgot about that see oh and then, the yeah and then another fighting game, which might even be wild, Elden Ring. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't piss me off. No, you're, you're, no, 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 no. Tap it da, in da, 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 Go into Google, tap in fighting games released in 2022. Da, Open da. the list and go down. Nah, nah, they need to relax. Elden Ring, fight what, it. What, what, relax. What, 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 what does Google do? Bad. Nah, 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 forget that. Google's moving mad, bruv. Imagine you got a headache here and you want to search up symptoms. Why do I have headache? Google will convince you you have cancer. Nah, I'm done, bruv. (laughs) (laughs) Now, Multiverses had it good, though, when it came out. The hype was there. The hype was there. It literally literally dropped just before Evo and it got a special spot at Evo. I think it even replaced Smash Bros. Oh, swear down. Yeah, Smash Bros. wasn't there. Because yeah, to be I fair, I watched I watched the multi versus um sorry, sorry now cut to you. No, I was oh, just gonna say I watched the multi No sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a me- mess up. Oh, mess up. <laughs> let, let me finish yeah, let me finish with you then. I was just gonna say that because it replaced it, it got I think I don't know. If they paid for it or that they paid for like advertising or something so i think that it they had that whole push that whole time so that's why it was booming at the time but it, it was advertised well <laughs> prior to it was advertised well mm-hmm. prior to his release but i was even gonna say i watched the multiverses mm-hmm. tournament at egx i can't lie man for, for, i was just watching on a cash thing i was i was involved like i was like i wonder how this is gonna go kind of thing and yeah man it, it was a good my spectacle. question is what stopped mm. you from playing it? <laughs> like on a real thing, it's not a thing, yeah. Do you know what? No, Do you know like, what? Think about this. Think Do you know what? This. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't that bothered to learn it. See, that's what I'm saying. So, like, my question is, yeah, I can understand it from this point in terms of like the community and stuff, and like it's there. But especially for you, especially for you, Jake, and you see, it's like you hadn't like got into it. You played a game, but you hadn't got into it. But then, mm. especially for you, like, what stopped you, Jake, from playing it? I, I was playing it. I was playing no, it. But no, but no, for, no. I'm saying, yeah, you played it. But what stopped you from playing it now? Because you don't play it at all now. Oh, I think I just kind of got bored of it. For me, that like, because I play Smash, I just in my mind when I play these type of games, it's just like I'm having fun, but I just be playing Smash. It's so this type of game. when it comes to the choice of category, like the choice. Are you basing it on how long and is play it like, like longevity of you playing it, or are you basing it on the community? Nah, longevity. The thing with the thing with multiverse, it's a live service game, so it's you don't have the whole game straight away. You got to grind to unlock characters, and then you've got to wait for more characters to come out, more modes mm-hmm. to come out, new maps to come out, rotation season. Do you know what I mean like they have? It's a whole life service, but, game. You and, but this is the thing. It's like with the older games, you play the same thing over. Huh? With the old, with the older games, like with the fighting games, like Street Fighter, Tekken, all this, they have just season passes where they're like, okay, we're gonna bring out this amount on this, and then we're gonna roll it out every time. Whereas like with these like, like online, like or long, long ongoing like fighting games, which is just free and stuff like that, it's just like taking time to do it, and there's so many like changes that needs to be made. But I'm like. Do you think that, yeah, it's like, do you, I don't feel like the, you know, basing on like longevity, same way as the old other games and like how many people would like, I feel like this one's just based on community rather than community and longevity. Like, I feel like yeah, the choice for this one was basically, because if it, if it was community and longevity, I would have said King of Fighters. There's a, there is a, there is a, a thing with King of Fighters, but it's, this one was literally based on community and popularity, not on longevity. Oh yeah, yeah, popularity is definitely a, a huge play in it because obviously what part of it is the characters on the game itself. Mm. But then also it's just like it's because it's new and it's a live service, it's gonna keep updating, updating, bringing more and more characters. So but it's then just, it's like it's only a moment until it phases out and then the servers end up closing. 
<laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like they, when it comes to a lot of these live service games, they, I feel like they leave a too big a gap between content. Like you can, <laughs> especially for a fight, especially for a fighting game, you can get, you can like learn the character and get through all of its challenges stuff within like a couple of days, and you've got to wait a season in a game last what like a month, two months. Mm. Are you gonna stay on the game for that long, like just for one character? Some people. Yeah, some people, some people will, but... do it. It could be the only the, game that they play, so it depends. Yeah, for, for, for those people it's different, but for a general, like, people who only just plays casually or just plays here and there, you you got other games to play, do you know what I mean? I'm going to miss something else. Oh, big time. And the reason why I would typically to say, like, a game with a season pass versus a live service is that, I think a game with a season pass, you've got the full game, like, handed to you straight away. More of this is a full game, like, he has unlocked every character anyway, separately, that's already there, if that makes sense. Whereas mm-hmm. with like a take it for example, like a Street Fighter Four, you had the whole roster just there unlocked. Yeah, I mean, whereas Street Fighter Five, you had to grind to make yeah. in-game currency to unlock more people, or you can use real-life money if you wanted. Exactly, and then it's like when the season passes came, it came with like big changes, but also a big chunk of characters to give you to be like, okay, I can, I've got some new stuff to go with, new maps, new whatever. You That's what Tekken like, did as well. But now I feel like. like yeah. If we're going down that route, then surely everyone's missing the old way of playing in terms of like fighting games, where it's just like a big chunk of characters, a big map, rather than just like we're gonna do a character a season. Like, yeah. and don't get me wrong, oh, that's, sir, what fighting... I mean, that's what gets boring about fighting games. Is like, oh, not not fighting games, but like in this way that we're doing online games and free to play games and stuff like that, is that a game a, a character a season. Can sometimes make a game boring if it's there like as, as much as it seems a month is not long or two months it is kind of long in terms of if you're playing games because if you play a game constantly then you're gonna get tired of it at some point if you're not getting exactly. no of course i hear that still I mean, especially for especially for a game like multiverses part of the hype comes from the character so if the mm. character comes and it's not really yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a hype yeah, character, true. then people are going to be like, okay, like it's cool. Or like from a popular, or from a popular franchise. Yeah, 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 I yeah think, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, I, Jake, hundred percent agree. I think specifically for multiverses, the hype is the characters. So again, that's the only reason why someone's going to play that over Smash Bros in the first place because I get to play characters that you know I've always wanted to to play. So if you're telling me I got. A- so long i got brian hard wait so long just for the characters it's like eh. that's it <laughs> eventually i'm like eh. but then also it's like i downloaded it there's, to no, play kind of, people. there's no kind of lead up to the there's no kind of lead up to the character as well as like take with smash ultimate yeah with the, with the dlcs for example when each dlc character was coming there was a big lead up to the, each character oh, and yeah, each character got was trailers big, and everything yeah and each character was a big it wasn't just like oh any old like little video game it was every character you wanted to know big. from what franchise next exactly that like, you felt it was so vast where it could come from that you, you just, when it came it's a big thing and then you wait for the it's not going to come that long after the trailer and then it drops so you want to like it's like it's cool to see this character in the game with all these other characters now yeah that's where all the hype comes from smash in particular and uh, multiverse will get there in, in time but i think for right now it's just it's still got a long way to go I had that. I had that. Mm. All right. Let's on move to on next. to the next one. Next one. Best RPG. And the nominees were Elden Ring. Yes. yes. What's this? Live Alive or Live Alive? I, I, I don't know. Oh, Pokemon Legends. <laughs> Triangle Strategy or Xenoblade Chronicle 3. We all know who won. Pokemon not come back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Elden Ring. It makes sense. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I it have makes sense. About that. It was just, it was definitely yep. going to win. Yep. I saw that. I said, yeah, Elden Ring's won that. Yep. Mm. All right. Okay. Hold on. Pause a second. Look at Shiro. Shiro, <laughs> why are you, you, Shiro, why are you playing Genshin Impact on your phone? I don't play in the- Impact, you know, I'm playing a racing this game. Guy. Oh, he's playing a racing game. Oh, he's doing six axes. I thought he's playing Genshin Impact. No, no. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love calling it that. Now I can't go back to Genshin. Oh, after, Genshin. The first, that, that after the first Game year. Awards, Genshin. Yeah, the one last year. Genshin. Yeah. Genshin Impact. All right, best action slash adventure game: A Plague Tale Requiem, God of War Ragnarok, 
Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, and Tunic. And obviously, we know the winner was God of War Ragnarok. I think, I think like it was, I think we, we discussed this before. Um, God of War, no, Horizon came out at the wrong time. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Because, because you know what? Yeah. In terms of when it, you playing the playing the game, it came out a perfect time. In terms of wanting to win a wood, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. In terms to play the game, cool. Cause I, I can't lie, man. It's a it's a it's a it's another good game. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's a nice it's a it's a nice sequel. Can't lie. I think I enjoyed the first one you a little what? bit more, but this second one is still it's still a strong game. Mm. You, you know you know what I heard. Like this is not me like shit on Horizon or anything, but. Yeah, but you don't like Horizon. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I even heard this from I even heard this from people who like Horizon. Like, okay, they say that, that this game felt like more of a an expansion. If that makes sense. Yeah. Then, no, bro, that. bro, bro. That. that was like the first thing I said like two hours in. For the longest time, I was like, am I, am I playing a new game or am I just playing an extension? Even with a couple new features, like, but then do you know how I see it? Yeah. The first game, it had many things going on that made it work. So why are you going to mess with things that make, why are you going to mess with a formula that worked for you in the first place? They're probably just going to tweak it and improve on it small, small. But I felt like if they, if they did too much and they wanted it to really, obviously it's a new game, but if they did too much and they messed up the formula that made it work, it would have, it would have just probably tanked. Um, I feel like, yeah, it, it was kind of like, it should have been part two rather than Horizon 2 or Horizon, like acting like it's a second game mm. or whatever. Because like even The Last of Us part two, the way they did it is like, obviously it's like a movie or story or continuation, but that's what Horizon should have been called. Because when you think about the game, it was like a, how many months of like, how many months was she away until she came back? It wasn't even uh, like a, a whole- like like two weeks years. or something. Bruv. That's what I'm saying. It's like it should have just been part two. It's like our oh, continuation, this and the other. It I mean, they did do a like recap. They were, but... yeah. they were riding off the hype of the first one, so they wanted to get the second, the second one out quick as possible. So yeah, the first right. one won game of the year in 2017, didn't it? It was a solid game. It was a solid mm. game. Mm. But yeah, um, on to the next. A uh, plague tell. I just want to say, Rob, that 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 got nominated quite a few times, you know. So, uh, a plague tell. Mm. Those two. so hold tight, them because the first one I I heard fuck all about it, but this one, their nominations and then obviously Stray as well for an indie game got a few nominations. So yeah, I think those uh, three yeah. got a lot of nominations alongside God of War. Like are those games, yeah, just owning it at the moment. Stray as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Stray. Stray. I can't lie, man. I want to play Stray. Stray, Stray's Same. intrigued me. Same. Mm. Is it? It's intrigued me. Sorry, it's part. It's part of the premium package on PlayStation, isn't it? So at some point, I'll download it. There you go. So yeah, best action game: Bayonetta 3, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2, Neon White, Seafood, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the winner was a uh, Bayonetta 3. I'm not gonna lie. I thought Call of Duty was gonna take it because of its <laughs> name, but I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad Bayonetta did, even though I haven't played three. But Bayonetta is just a fun, over the top action yeah, game. Yeah, as Bayonetta it is. Is just that, that, it's just pure action. Yeah, it's just that. Like, what's action. the wackiest combo be, you yeah, can do to take out these demons, these beasts, these mythical creatures? So, yeah, I I, I didn't even mind that. That's exactly it. See, but see through being in a in a category like this makes more sense to me. <laughs> let's, let's, let's 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 not go back into that. that. We've already spoken. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm I'm gonna skip the innovation in accessibility. I can't lie, I don't really care for that one. Um, wow. Do we care about the best VR game? Not really. Yeah, just, just, just before you get us cancelled. No, no, we care about the innovation. Yeah, we do. No, That's I'm so just talking about do. for this. Not we in general, doesn't... man. Nah, don't do this. Don't make me look like a villain. I'm no, just no, saying no, for the no, sake bro. of I'm, the vid. We're, we're trying to stop you from looking like a villain before someone tells me. <laughs> Uh, because I must say, just, just on a side note to that, I, I, I checked it out, and the color, the color, the that's... color adaptations they do for people who are visually impaired is fantastic, though. I must say. So, no, I agree. Well for that, man. Effort. No, I agree. 
for no reason. Like I say, it's just for the sake of this video, not because I don't care in general. I know, no. Obviously. We, we know. We just need them to know too. <laughs> okay, cool. I thought Shaka was going to make me look like a villain. Hey, look, I didn't say anything, man. I'm just here with my world premiere sign. Right? I mean. <laughs> Best community <laughs> support. Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14 Online, Fortnite, and No Man's Sky. Final Fantasy. And, uh, yeah, that was, al- that was always going to take it, Without though. Without a doubt. That was, that that was, was, always, that was always, always going to take it. Without always. a doubt. I think as long as Final Fantasy 14 runs, it's always gonna win. I agree. I guess there's no, not much if, else if, to say. We just, we just, we just knew it was gonna be. We just knew it was gonna take it. If there's online and you hear Final Fantasy, just don't even bother. You know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's been running for a minute as well. Has it's not. I have nothing against no, it. It's just that. Yeah. The amount of like, the amount of like. No, but the, the, the story behind it and like the actual outreach from the developers to the community is actually mad. Like, I don't think any other game does it like that. No, no, that's good. No, no, not really. I like, I like, I like it when game companies actually listen to their 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 consumers, their fans of mm. their their, their in, products in, in the right way. Though they listen to them in the right way. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. not not the case of this needs to be nerfed. All right, cool. This then the other is gonna be nerfed. This person needs to be buffed. Ah, right, fuck it. We just gonna buff everyone. <laughs> <laughs> or or even 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 just like I think it's more like with the whole community thing, like mm-hmm. it depends on like who they listen to. Because I know with the Apex community, like they're, they're just listening to the pro players and not listening to the actual like other players, like the public players or the people that don't. Yeah, that's just one sided. That's just um, one part of the community. Yeah. I think that's stupid. And then it's it's, it's hilarious because like the pro players end up complaining when it's your things that you change. You wanted it changed and they changed it and you don't like it. So what? You don't want. <laughs> you, you, you wanted to. Be, you wanted to. You wanted to be a voice and be a game developer and change someone's game and now you don't like it when you realize you did mm-hmm. wrong. Ah, get out of here. It's like it's like like what is it? Imagine your mom's giving you a sandwich and she used white bread and you're like, mom, I want brown bread. So the so next time she makes you a sandwich, she's now used brown bread. You're not complaining that she used brown bread. If it though it was you that came up with the idea, bro. That's literally, that's literally. And then watch next time she'll give you sandwich with no bread. Let's see what you say now. <laughs> what, just slice of cheese? <laughs> just just slice of cheese <laughs> with some butter on it. That <laughs> butter your hand. Why? Uh, just like, better eat it. <laughs> you know the ones there. <laughs> uh, best mobile game Apex Legend Mobile, <clears throat> Diablo, Genshin Impact, Marvel Snap. And Tower of Fantasy. Genji. And the winner was Nah, Marvel Snap. Now I've been hearing a lot about this game as well. I thought it was Genshin. Nah, <laughs> Marvel Snap still. Nah, I've never played Marvel Snap, I, so I can't I, really comment on that. it because I, I don't even know. I don't even know what it's about, how you play. Bro, it's a card game. It's a mobile card game. Like okay. it's not actually uh it's like they said it's like one of the very few vertical games that are left. Like no one there's no no open world, no nothing, no actual, you know, <laughs> it's a card game, but it's a strategy game kind of as well. But apparently okay. it's getting, it's getting a, a, a mad hype following because of, I don't actually, I don't know, I don't really know why. I'm very curious to see why. Fair enough, man's doing this thing. Say no more. All a- right. Apex, when you sign into Apex, uh, yeah, after I, this um, I, Apex I, mobile, when you sign in, uh, after I this. The YouTube adverts is oh, mobile. No, everyone's talking over each other. No, Jake, I we... You say? Well, not, not you, Shaq. <laughs> oh, right, man. Well, I, I was speaking time ago. Hey, I think my team's lagging, but now I was just saying that um, it's advertised everywhere on, like, YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm yet to come across a YouTube ad, but now that you said that, I'll probably man. get it now. You put money behind it, bro. You put money behind that game. Mm-hmm. But but apparently yeah, it is good. I've heard that it is good. Just wondering. I mean, maybe it's the fact that it's a Marvel game as well. No, no, no. Apparently, it's, that's just like, as in the, the 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 way the game plays. But like I said, it's a card game, so I don't know what that even means. <laughs> like, I don't mm. know. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough, man. Why would I play a card game? <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's well, like, that's the winner. It won over Genshin Impact. So imagine. And I, I know that's 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 a game you're currently playing on your phone right now. So. <laughs> Um, what's this game called? This game's called Asphalt. Watch it. 
Is it, ash- is it asphalt? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What game I'm is that? It's, it's literally one of the most popular like racing games on phone. Asphalt awesome. nine. To the point they made nine. <laughs> nine. Yes. Okay. Nine. Wait. Make your money. Make your cash. Make your coins. Make your cheddar. Make your change to though. make it rain, but. All right, um, next category. Best debut indie game. Neon White, Norco, Stray, Tunic, and Vampire Survivors. And the winner is... Feline. Yeah. Garfield. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I said Garfield. I lie. Not surprised. I heard a lot of hype about Stray prior to his release as well, so... I'm not sure if there was a state of play that showed a bit of it. There was. I think there was. Yeah, because I I definitely remember seeing clips of it before and I was like, I can't lie. I would play this. Yeah, I think you might have said this. I remember seeing I remember seeing clips of a cat moving around and I'm like, what on earth is happening here? It was either either state of play or maybe the last game was, but who knows? I think it was a state of play. I think it was both actually. Mad. Okay. And then best indie game, Cult of the Lamb, Neon White, Sifu, Stray, and Tunic. Listen, this Tunic game has come up a bit and Neon White. <laughs> but I've never yeah. heard of them Is it, until was the it, Game Awards. Was it Stray again? Yeah, Stray one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Stray one. Told you, man. As for the for an indie game, bruv, it was getting hot. It was like you know, um, last year, Kina, yeah, Bridge of Spirits. That for an indie game that got a lot of hype. So when it yeah. won that award, I was like, mm. I can't say surprised. And I do. Like, that's another game I want to play because everyone everyone wanted to know what it was like to be a cat because sometimes cats can be dickheads, and they wanted to know what it was like. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Sounds like okay. you've got a personal vendetta against cats. No, cats are lovely, but also cats can be a bit, a bit horrible sometimes. Not in a bad, not, in, like, not, as in, <laughs> not as in like I condemn cats and flip them. I don't like them. No, it's just like you can be chilling and your cat will just do madness for no reason. That's because. Right, yeah, let's, let's fly through these, man. I want to talk about these announcements. Let's fly through these. All right, cool. Say nine. Okay, all right. Best ongoing game, because even, Apex Legends. Because even at the gaming awards, man was reading them like they were like, nothing. And the best next one for this is this is this, and he skipped it. Next one is this is this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the nominees okay. are. Cecil, Se- go for it. And the, we'll, yeah. Do it. Do it now. Best ongoing game, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and Genshin Impact. We all know who won. That was Final Fantasy 14. It's Final Fantasy 14. We can't say nothing about it. Cool. Let's move. Games for Impact, uh, a memoir blue as dust falls, Citizen Sleeper, Endling, Extinction is Forever, Hindsight, and I was a teenage exo colonist. Um, yeah, I've never heard of none of these games, but as dust falls, once I've not heard none of these games, I've never heard any of those. Oh man, but yeah, move on. Best performance, Ashley, Ashley Birch from, in Horizon, Charlotte McBurney in A Plague Tale, Christopher Judge in God of War, Manon Gage in Immortality, and Sonny, I'm not even going to pronounce his surname, in God of War. We all know Christopher Judge won, and that's why he did his speech that was longer than an episode of Family Guy. I want to I wanna give a Christopher Judge speech right now, man. <laughs> Yo, did you want right now? Go for it. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait. World premiere. <laughs> Boy. So I'd like to thank everybody who won the game. I'd like to thank Sh- you know Shio for you know being here today. I'd like to thank C because you know his mic and his durag match. And you know I'd like to thank him for all the things he's doing. And you know. You know, for him being a human, you know, him being there, <laughs> being <laughs> and Jake, you know, for the colors in the background uh, with the Marisha flag and the pink and, you know, matching his ceiling with this and that. And then let's go back to Shio to talk about his hat. Fam, it was long. 
<laughs> Don't get me wrong. I understand, <laughs> but it was so long. Let's the only thing, the only thing you're missing is the mm. gold plated outfit. Yo, we. I'm, if I talk about that, we'll be here for long. Don't Bruh, get me wrong. What I'm saying, yeah, he came. He came in looking like gold dust. That's all <laughs> I'm gonna say. Come in looking like gold dust. On a big man thing. Let's be real. Come in looking like gold dust. But listen, the man's a legend in the game. But he nah, come he's... in looking like gold dust. Definitely. But yeah, all right, cool. Let's move on. Best audio design. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Elden Ring, God of War, Gran Turismo 7, and Horizon Forbidden West. And the winner was God of War. I can't lie. I felt like if Elden Ring and God of War was not in that category, that would have been Horizons. Through and through. Wait, and what was the what was the category for? Audio. Best audio design. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Because it's difficult. got God of War and Elden Ring. That's why. Because God of War's got it's got uh, it's got its own mm. good audio. I haven't heard the audio for Elden Ring, but I can imagine people will love it. The 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 audio for God of War, yeah. It, this this one is unmatched. I can't lie. When you hear it through through headphones. Ah! Hi. You guys saw the performance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep, I yep. My favorite bit, my favorite bit was God of War. I can't even lie. That was too epic. I'm sorry. Wins. Take it. And then best best score music. Um I'll I'll name I'll 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 just read the names, but it was a Plague Tale, Elden Ring, God of War, Metal Hell Singer, and another artist. I think, how do you pronounce this? Yasunori Mitsuda. I hope I did not butcher that. But yeah, God of War 1. You were at Bear McCreary. God of War. God of War was just sweeping awards left, right, and center. Aye. It was like, not, another not. one, thank you. <laughs> another one, thank you. Another <laughs> one, thank you. That's what God of War were doing. It was a different person. Uh. Up to yeah. Every time. <laughs> yeah, because obviously there's different sections of the game in it, so it made sense. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah, got yeah. their flowers, man. Everyone got their flowers, so I, I respect that. Best game direction: Elden Ring, God of War, Horizon, Immortality, and Stray. And the winner for that was Elden Ring. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, so it's just it's just creative vision and innovation in game, yep. game direction and design. I can't lie, man. I feel like Horizon should have won at least one of these things. I feel so sorry for Horizon, bro. Oh, man. It's like what you said. It just came out at the wrong time to win award. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? It came at the right time in terms of month, but wrong time in terms of yeah. year. And that's what I was saying. It was yeah. good. People were ready to play it. But in terms of if you wanted to win anything, don't there's no. I feel like if if Horizon came out last year, potentially because I know what is it? Um, it takes two one, but maybe Horizon could have taken it. No, I, do you know what? Yeah, I think it still wouldn't have only because it was a time where it was very different to what people had wanted, and uh, people a lot of people were playing a game like this. Game was played by everybody. I can't even lie. Even people that didn't even play games. Mm. Yeah, because because the way the game was, I think if you were player one, it 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 would be suited for someone that is a bit more advanced in gaming or more of a gamer, and then player two is for beginners. See what I'm saying? And even the premise of the game is it's, it's, it's something different, but I'm not mad at it. I would play it. Yeah. And now, I'm to game of the year. These are the games that have been chosen because they delivered the best gaming experience overall. And the nominees are World Premiere. Uh, World Plague Premiere. Tell. <laughs> a Plague Tale. Elden Ring. God of War Ragnarok. Woo! Horizon Forbidden West. Stray. <laughs> and Xenoblade Chronicle 3. <laughs> and the winner of Game of the Year. 2022 goes to Elden Ring. Expect it. Was it. <laughs> it, was between, it was literally between God of War and Elden Ring. That was it. Yeah. yeah. Bearing in mind, I haven't ever played uh, God of War yet, but I wanted God of War to win. <laughs> 
God of War is definitely is definitely game of the year in my in my it eyes. It should. But have I won. think mm. I think I think if it should it, it should have won. I'm just saying. It, it, but it, it it's won. mad because there's some people that don't like Dark Souls, but have played Elden Ring and said Elden Ring's amazing. So I can't even fault that. I can't. Fault I mean, that. if I it's drawing in new fans, if it's drawing in new fans, then it definitely did yes, something. I'll... Like again, for me, I don't, I don't play soul games in it like that. So for me, I don't have much of an opinion. But if it's well deserved and it deserves its flowers, then by all means. But I think because it was as we anticipated for so long, I just knew it was going to win Game of the Year. So yeah. Let me just start. But I, I was getting people who only play like FIFA, for example, come up to me asking me about Elden Ring. I was like. You're interested in Elden Ring. Wow, that's another <laughs> spectrum, bruv. Man went from FIFA to Elden Ring. Like, wow. Hey, some people just like stress, That's what I'm it? saying. Like, it was, it, the, out, the out of week was mad for this game. I don't know how or why it keeps, was out there. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying, it did something right, clearly, but yeah, so. I was looking into it. Apparently, there was so many, like, little elements that people really enjoyed. Um, mm. Like, some of the... Some of the um, the gameplay, the open world, how big it was. The I think you could do. It also hit. Um, oh, it, no, it's like it hit a market where it allowed people to create so many different types of like fighting and try out so many different things. Where even TikTok helped, where people are like, "Oh, you can do flash step and do shunpo." But also another big thing that was like a lot of people love is the homage to Bers- the Berserk um, creator. That was a big thing that a lot of people mm. love. I didn't, I, I didn't know about that. Yeah, like it, you, so. There's, there was, you can get like literally, um, guts's sword, and then you could also like, um, yeah. There's like a setting which is similar to like the the manga or anime, and a lot of people love that. Like, I think the part part of the game is a homage to um, the Berserk Creo, which is oh. astonishing. Okay, well. I'm kind of going I'm, through. I'm, me personally, I'm proud of Zinovich to be there, man. I used to think the only reason it wouldn't, wasn't a contender connected to those two. Just, obviously, you know, popularity comes into a lot of these nominations as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Zinovich, Zinovich is very niche. Like, it's, it's a Nintendo exclusive, but like, it's also one I of can't lie, I was surprised to hear it in, but I'm like, if it's it clearly he's done this thing and it has his fans in it, so. I feel like any game that makes it to game of the year deserves its flowers, man. Yeah, it it, Mm. it deserves it. You can talk about the gameplay side and and obviously every other element of it. But because popularity is part of an element of these type of awards, it wasn't going to go next to Elden Ring and go to war. No, but again, the fact that they were just even nominated, that shows props Mm. for every game mixed game of the year, innit? So it's good, especially if it's a new game game as well. Yeah, and, that, and Stray's and another one. It well. made it. Mm. Stray and what? Stray won two awards already, so it's not even like he were down and out. Like I said, Horizon man, it's just unfortunate. Horizon couldn't even get one. Mm. The, the competition was too great for them this year, but at the same yeah, time, it doesn't mean that it wasn't a solid game. It wasn't a solid effort from the developers and whatnot. But you know what? The game is the game. Sometimes you just have to charge it. Right, so now mm. the announcements. So one of the things that the world I couldn't stand about this, <laughs> about this. Um, so this is the first time I've actually watched the game awards from start to finish. Like usually I watch highlights in it. It's just easier. But I said let me watch the whole thing, and I can't lie to you. This was just um, just bit adverts. It just driving me mad. <laughs> <laughs> they did more announcements and world premieres than they actually did award. Like, man was reading off the script for half of the um, actual nominees and awards. But all of a sudden, you give, I don't know, Among Us 10 minutes to chit chat about, you know, Among Us <laughs> for 2023. Even even got Knives, yeah, the, <laughs> the collaboration. Knives out, out, in it, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, but then it definitely did, you know, get me, get, get my, get my taste but you know ready for what, what's coming out next year so was there anything for you guys that you saw you said mm, might have to check that out can't lie final fantasy 16 <laughs> yeah final i'm gonna say final fantasy but also i can't lie yeah. I, I only remember a bit of the games that came out there were so many there were so, there many, were so, many, so many i've got the list here the ones that stuck out, stuck out for me i definitely want to try june awakening because that's going to be like they're going to let um there's going to be a um uh, 
uh, what's this thing called again? Um, I don't know the name for it. Not a, not a beta. It's another name. The other one. Alpha. Alpha. But there's gonna be something coming out. Sorry. Okay. Not the, not the I said it's not a beta. Yeah, I thought it was an alpha. If it's not alpha, so, is it a then demo? It's the game. Then it's the game. <laughs> no, no, if it's no, not no, demo, no. then it's a full it's game. Demo. They use a particular term. I can't remember what it's called, but it's gonna come out in April. A trial. No, no, early early access. access. That's it. Thank you. I think it's just early access, basically. That's coming ah, out. Okay. Oh. Um, for people to try out. Uh, then there was um a collaboration with Amazon. Amazon Games. You hear about that? Yeah, that, that yeah, that anime open world online game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot the That's, name of that though. That I'm gonna I'm, let me find it. That. that I'm definitely gonna try out before you know. It turns oh, out. was it? Um, is, no, it's not Blue Protocol. It's called Blue. Oh, no, Blue Protocol. Blue, Blue, Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely looking at that. But what was the game that had Chuck Norris in it? Um, it was Crime Boss. Yes, Crime I can't Boss. lie. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. somewhat grabbed my interest. I'll be real. Yeah. Um, I will say, in the games that intrigue me, I've got the list here. Hades two. I'm gonna. I do want to start playing. I haven't even played one. Um, Hellboy is interesting because I do like Hellboy. I do. You know. You know the thing with Hellboy. Yeah, I'm not sure about the art style. I think it's because the art style. I'm fifty fifty on it. It's because it resembles the comics. Okay. Um. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, Judas. Judas. Judas look good. Because it's the same, it's the same characters, uh, it's the same creators of Bioshock and Bioshock. If you haven't played all three, I, I suggest you go play that now. That I played, I played two in Infinite. The whole I played two in Infinite. Mad. What do you guys um, think of the um, Suicide Squad game? Oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've been on that, brother. Remember, yeah, the game was supposed yeah. to come out this year, then it got um, postponed, didn't it? Yeah, I've been on that. I already know. Um, Obviously, they did the tribute to Kevin. That's why they showed yeah. that. Um, that yeah, little scene. Yeah, yeah, scene. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, I've I've been I've been on Suicide Squad for a minute, bro. So I'm looking Final. forward to that game. Final Fantasy. Second as well. Yeah, Tekken. Uh, so Tekken and Street Fighter. Yeah, or, or well, Tekken I want to get on launch. Street Fighter, I think I'll just get further down in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash Team Rumble. I'm not looking forward to it, but I just remember that was there. I'm not really yeah. on it, but it's there. I feel um, like if it's a free game, uh, I think that'd be fun to play, you know. Yeah. If it's a free game, cool. But I can't lie, I don't see myself paying for that. Um the one game I wasn't expecting was um Death Stranding 2. Yeah, I was looking at that as well. Ah mm. but because the uh, the first one didn't interest me because to me that was just Postman Pat Simulator. Um I I, I don't know how to take number two. Obviously, I know there's probably more to the game than just delivering stuff, but I I, I have I don't know, man. This like, man, yeah, I, Kojima has a cult. He, yeah, I, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't blame like anyone. So many people <laughs> love Kojima, and I have nothing against it. He, he, he does know what he's doing. That, that's why he's. Of course, he knows like, what he's doing. That's why his games do but, well. But, yeah, but this is what this like, don't, did don't look well. Into how it, don't look at how he's gonna play because the way his mind works is a bit fun. Yeah, but that he does create like the Silent Hill games. Like you can't like this man knows what he's doing. He's created great games. So mm. like to go against it and say like oh he's gonna create a dead game is very it's, it's a very small chance. He's trying. For me, do you know do you know what it is with Death Stranding? Yeah, all the trailers that came out, I just didn't know what I was watching. And then when I see gameplay, yeah. and I was like, it just looks like you're just delivering shit from one place to another. Obviously, I know there's way more to it. There's action and all this, but I think because I was so confused for so long, I said like, I just have no interest. So obviously they're doing that, Death Stranding the too. Yeah, but my thing is obviously is like you know if you're not gripped within a certain time, you're yeah, just yeah. gonna be like I'm not gonna bother. So that's why when that, Death Stranding came that, out, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm good still. That was literally like his whole thing when he was the director of Metal Gear. That was every Metal Gear that came out, he just kind of thought like what was going on. Just a lot yeah, of stuff I happening. think even like um, what was the last one? Phantom Pain. Boy. Oh, number five. Yeah, no. Yeah, Phantom Pain. Yeah. Um, what else is going on? Burning Shore. No, I actually Horizon. never played that, bro. What? Oh, the DLC. I never played number five. The last one I played was um four. Go, go play it. It's long. But it's <laughs> the last um, one I played was four. Still. Horizon. Yeah, oh? yeah Horizon. Um, what was it? Good Burning Shores, right? 
Yeah, no, burning shores. Yeah. Or <laughs> Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Say that again. Or Spoken was there as well, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, mean, they, mean... they 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 to release the demo, wasn't it? You mean yeah. um, you mean hip hip hop magic simulator? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I don't get Magic Simulator. That game has gotten a lot of turmoil. Like it's the game, yeah. I want to. I do want to play it to see what everyone's raging on about. I know the demos. There. I've, I'm. I've downloaded but, the demo. I can't lie. I'm probably gonna record it and put it on the channel. But I also think, yeah. Like, okay. So uh, the only thing I had with the last, the last one, yeah, and it is state of play, is that it was just like, hey, we're just gonna add. Like hip hop music, music oh, yeah. or hip hop music. type. Yeah. Oh, no, you know, you know, when you go on YouTube, yeah, and you type in Drake type beat. That's what they literally did. <laughs> nah, do you know what it's for me? You know, when you go into the YouTube creative bit and then they give you like royalty free music. Yeah. It's, it, it was like that for me. I was just like, ah, oh, this this is, this don't bang. I the think yeah. they, just, they just searched up urban. That's what they did. But then I think a lot of people are very like, there's, a, a good there's a good few people on like I was looking at Twitter and they're talking about the demo and a lot of people weren't like didn't like it and for obvious reasons you know why the people some people didn't like it it's just there it's gonna be bait because they didn't like uh the character and it's just like oh the game's being Square Enix is being too woke and it's like but mm-hmm. well, they're not like I get I get what you're saying no actually I don't even get what you're saying it's like, no, it's not like, thing, it's like listen like if you don't if you, you don't believe in if you don't believe in black girl magic just say that honestly I think like <laughs> it's that thing of like you're saying oh it's it's like oh they're not they're, they're being too woke it's like it's an original story so how are they being too woke for an original That's the thing story like, no but, no but we already know that when they use the term work for video games they, they're, they're saying something else not saying it yeah, you, just yeah, say, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 a it's, it's it's a it's a very backhanded comment. It's like imagine like let me think of an example. Imagine someone posts a picture of themselves, right? And mm-hmm. and like they could be in a nice dress and they could be like a certain size, and someone will put like, Oh, I love the confidence. That just sounds like a backhanded comment. Yeah. Do you mm-hmm. get what I mean? Yeah, so it's, it's <clears> stuff like that. But this one, I feel like also this one just sounds like just say this is like it's so woke. <laughs> it's like it's not every time woke that as a, as a as that as like a thing yeah to explain as to as why word, yeah. it's not it don't make sense. It literally doesn't That's make what. sense. It's what. It's like oh you instead of you don't you just want to use it as an explanation, but you don't want to delve into why it, it's a it's a thing like that. You just want to be like ah, oh, it's woke. Yeah, but we know how long the gaming communities are, but that's a that's a whole other topic for us. But then, yeah, yeah. The, we are. But it kind of links. It kind of links to kind of like our last conversation about race and gaming. Like it, it literally links to that. Like it, it, the gaming it, it, community it, it, is exactly. just like it's it's a whole bunch of things. It's like the gaming community. A vast majority of the gaming community does not because want it's not a, does not, because it's not a, it's not a you know a, a clear man that's where mm, it's like that's oh you you don't want <laughs> you don't want anyone of ethnicity or many a lot of time the black community to enjoy a game when it comes to a black person being in the center of the role like mm. I for me I oh I enjoyed definitely but when I saw that I was like this game is sick. And I was like, oh, the, the main character is black. It's like the, the side um, character is black as well. And I'm like, this is a good game. But I didn't think, oh, I didn't think, oh, yes, it's woke. Oh, they should do it. Yeah. I just enjoyed the game. Like, it's not every day. Like, not every yeah, game. Sometimes just enjoy the game for its entirety. Everything Honestly. Is, that diet brings, because overall, the overall package could be solid. But when people want to nitpick and what you're even nitpicking about, it's not even that deep. But what? Some people just like saying? to complain. Some people just like crying and hearing their own voice. So, what? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going like, to, you're going to, you're going to, what you're gonna say? You're gonna say, oh, um, what? Someone they're, they're making a WWE game and they put Kofi Kingston on the cover, and then they're being like too woke. It's like Kofi Kingston isn't black. It's like, excuse me, stop being stupid like this. Honestly, leave it alone. It's not every day. Stop complaining about race in the game, yeah. Just admit, if you want to admit, just, just admit. But just know everyone's gonna get you because why you? Why, why can't you let things be? It's not every day. Nah, I hear it still. What, what are we saying Jordan? about um, bayonet or origins? Eh, it's there. Yeah, it's just there. I, like, I was like, this is, this is, this is not what I expected. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you can play it if you want. I don't know about <laughs> you, but... <laughs> Ooh, 
Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, what were we saying? Them man said, Oh, you thought we were done with the A list celebrities? Let's slap another one in. And boy, Idris. Idris, <laughs> Idris, uh, Idris looks Idris. wavy as well, you know. Man said, Idris Alaba. Must have been. <laughs> Pulled up and said, Yeah, let's do this. That's an Idris Alaba. Idris Alaba, innit? Oh, what, half Guardian, half Austrian, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. man. Star Wars Jedi Survivors looking like a... Uh, I'm waiting for you to speak about that, because that's you. Yeah, that's Bearing a, in oh, mind, I'm not, I'm not even the biggest Star Wars fan like that, but um, what is it? The Last Jedi was um that was a that was a good game no so, last jedi sorry fallen order what am i talking about fallen order yeah that was a that was a good game oh, the only is, problem is that is game that always crashed on me pardon so this is a sequel yes yeah, survivor is the sequel to fallen order okay. but then to okay. be fair the way the first game ends it ends it ends on a cliffhanger anyway mm-hmm. like mm. a very calm cliffhanger but you know it's yeah you can easily continue the story from here and that's exactly oh. what they've done, isn't it? They even got the actor to come and say a few words. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, party animals. What are we saying about that? <laughs> it, it looks like gang beasts. But yeah, it's true. It looks like gang beasts yeah. still. It looks like gang beasts. Like, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Um, I mean, I feel like it's just gonna be like a party game, yeah. little mess around kind of thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. have too much to fun say on it. Look, say that again. Which is fun sometimes. Yeah, of course. Sometimes you just need one of them games where you don't have to think too much. You can just go yeah, ahead and enjoy it. Yeah. Just yeah, take so, it all in. Also, I agree. The, the June MMO. Oh! Yeah. The one based a, on the film? Yeah, it's like called June Awakening. June yeah, Awakening. yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's what I'm playing at. Mm. There's so Diablo different. 4. Yeah, I, I mean, played yeah, any, lot, I have not played any Diablo, so. There's been people waiting for that one, boy. I was hey, just yeah, saying that, that 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 world premiere trailer. I was like, hey, this is very dark and very demonic. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Very demonic. That's all I can say. Wow. That's just the other series for you, though. Demons <laughs> to the left, demons to the right, demons upstairs, and demons downstairs. I was like, wow. Demon, demon, demon everywhere. Demons, demons, and devils. Hi. <laughs> you bit a holy war after watching that one because that was a bit <laughs> mad fun. Demons and devils, devils and demons. Yeah, it was a bit mad still. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we mentioned we mentioned Suicide Squad. Um. The Lord, the Lords of the Fallen. I don't know. That's a that's like a Souls esque game because I played the 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 last one. That's not bad. The trailer was alright, but it was it was very very sameish. Oh, don't forget the Lost of Us Part One coming to PC. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, this game has come out so many times. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for it. Like, you know, changing up the way it is, and you know, implementing some of the stuff like the mechanics of the new game into the old one. But it's not every day, man. Like, come on now, man. They're moving like Capcom of the Evil Four. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I get. There's a high chance. Yeah, there is a high chance that game will come out in the next console. Yeah, oh, another that game will come out. Returnal yeah. coming to the PC. Oh, that's fine. That Returnal. I thought I never played it. So, the game apparently was really. A lot of people liked it. Like a lot of people really liked it. So for it to kind of apparently like, it was quite challenging as well. Yeah. So for it to come oh, out on yeah. PC. <laughs> part two. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, stop I even it. forgot. That's a part two. Stop it. What is it? Um, Horizon are doing that VR game as well, isn't it? Was it? Call of the Mountain. Yeah, Call of the Mountain. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I feel like I, I know. I, I feel like I won't touch. Work. I feel like I won't touch VR unless I have like a PC setup. So, and I don't really. I'm not really on the PlayStation one because it's like it's very limited. So. And then, Destiny did. Eh. Lightful. But you, you, you have a job done Destiny in years, Jake. I swear. Jake, you used to be on Destiny, right? Or my buggy? Nah, nah, never. Okay, I'm bugging. Nah, it was I haven't since like Destiny two. I really haven't. Not even like the first year when Destiny two came out. I think I was just like, eh, I can't bother. Anyone care for Fire Fire Emblem Engage? No, but I know a lot of people are. I know a lot of people. That's why I'm asking if anyone yeah. cares. 
Uh, I really don't need to fight him like that anyway. So and Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget I, I I'm a, the hide and seek the hide and seek mode. Yeah, I mean, I really need a whole like section. <laughs> fam, they had like two bits. They had like a whole section and also another bit because of Knives Out. Like that's what you mm-hmm. remember. Um, it, I mean, it, I'm, it's surprising that it's still going. People are still playing it. Like they even made a VR one as well. So I can imagine the VR one being quite fun though. I can't lie. But it's, not, it's not surprising. You know, it's like like people want to play stuff like that together it's just mm. it's a good game to play with friends and you know those yeah. you can't mm-hmm. go down yeah. them, man. it's it's kind of like it's kind of like the whole kind of take it takes two thing it doesn't require you to kind of like yeah. have to know game just game. like you can enjoy yeah. it and just get like understand it quite quickly it, which is good it takes common sense that's it yeah it's, quite, it's calm like i'm just looking through the list now obviously there was a game called after us i think that was the game where you are like this girl she, and she okay. she kind of bringing the environment back to life. Am, am I yeah. bugging? Yeah, no, yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. That was it. That was it. And then there's Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. I, I can't I can't remember what that was. All the, I'm not gonna. All the rest of the games can't remember. So yeah, because yeah, all, they, oh, they had the gun. The, the gun up. is it gun? No, was it Gundam or Transformers? Transformers. Transformers. It was, tra- no, it was, tra- yeah. it was Transformers. Are you sure? Wait, yeah, it was Transformers. Before? It's Transformers. Was, if it was a Gundam game, I think you would have heard that. From nah, you. yeah. I'm Transformers like, Reactive. Yeah, Transformers Reactive. But ha- actually, on a quick side, there is like actually the Gundam Evolution PvP game finally came out on PlayStation. Which is, is that the free to play one? Yes. I might give that a go. Because yeah. why not? They got Overwatch 2 out. I feel like that's going to be the main shit that people going to play. But... Ew. <laughs> that, man, that man said pay £19 for a gold skin Ew. and then don't forget return to Castlevania mm. I think that was a part was, was that a part of the pre-show wait that, that was, was part there of the, where yeah. was that I think it was part of the pre-show still Dead Cells what mean? No, Dead Cells return to Castlevania oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I see that I, yeah. see it, I just I remember know. seeing I just remember seeing a lot of World premieres, <laughs> world premiere. But world overall, premiere. I think I think I think the Game Awards. It was it was it was a good show. Can't complain. Mm. So yeah, um, I thought it was alright, and yeah, looking forward to uh, Game Awards 2023. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try and play a few of these games on this list this year, so that I want to see who who's gonna be included next year. Where? So what are your Same. very quickly, very quick, you know, what are your predictions for gaming in the game? Game. Yeah, Game next year. I think End. I think Hogwarts Legacy is gonna be in that list. I think Spider Man Two is gonna be on that list. Yeah, and um, I think Suicide Squad is gonna be on that list. Those are the three games that I think is gonna be in the Game of the Year category. Okay, if Zelda comes out next year, then they will definitely be there. Oh, and, and fi- Final Fantasy as well. Mm. But yo, Game of the Year twenty twenty three could be really strong. Yeah, and then I'm gonna leave room for a surprise game. Yeah, well, yeah, next year could be really tough. Not the Wolverine game came out next year as well. What comes out next year? The Wolverine game. They told me is that, that um, coming out next year? I don't think that's coming out next year. I think that's coming out. Like I think that's coming out like 2024. I think oh, they okay. just announced it. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, I think I think yeah, those are my predictions. So I'm gonna leave it there. We'll come mm. back right. next year and see if these predictions were right. <laughs> right. Yeah, all I can say, madam, it was good to record again. Nah, Let's yeah. make it happen a bit, bit more in 2023. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going on, you man? What's happening? Yeah. What's going on? Right? Just give, just give um. us, a, just give us a game to get on, and then we'll get on a game, <laughs> and then we'll, we'll chop up the, about the game, whatever game it is. Bro, we man did that. We said Cyberpunk Horizon. <laughs> Shaq and I went game. through it. Um, <laughs> Shaq yeah, and I, I went through both. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm I slacking, did. I'm slacking, I'm slacking. Shaq, I can't lie, it's you that's slacking, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I finished Horizon, I finished Cyberpunk. Yeah, you finished Horizon? I'd that, yeah, but I finished Cyberpunk. I mean, to be fair, I know what will be like nearly a, a year late, but I'm still down to talk about the game, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's not a problem. Great. Yeah, yeah. I right, cool, man. Yeah. We'll reconvene.
Um, Jake, you can't be involved in Horizon because you're going to be very biased. I'll play it, I'll play it still. But now, nah, man, um, yeah, fam, uh, good to link up with you, man, again. And uh, yeah, to the next session, still, innit? Peace. In a bit. In a bit.